and welcome back. Today we're actually going to start the stream with a much quieter, much more laid-back game. And I'm sure that as this game progresses, um, you know, things are going to get more exciting. But for now, let's just start off with something relatively quiet. So this is a game um, by chess master John Sheridan. Uh, the objective is to hit all the balls exactly once until they all change color. Oh, and then to hit them one more time until they all change to red. Um, and so you see some of them have bonuses associated with them uh, when you hit them. Let me double check. I think this game has some sort of music. There we go. Oops. Alright, I'm gonna fail the game or restart it. In fact, let me refresh the page uh, to restart the game. You know, I should be able to refresh the page. Let's try this again. Okay, yeah, this is called Lox Ball. Um, now I should be able to go into or out of full screen mode. Let's try that in a different tab and... okay. Music on. Sound effects on. Nice. Cool. Let's try this again. Welcome back. I'm playing a game designed by my friend uh, John Chernoff. It's called Locks Ball. Some of you may have seen this before. Uh, for those not familiar, the goal is to hit all the balls until they change color to red. And oh my goodness, is that going to cause a terrible echo? Um, but I can't do anything while I'm playing the game. <laughs> so I had better you know, between games, uh, do something to turn the volume down. Or I could just fail this, you know? There we go. Oh my goodness, let me turn that down. You guys are going to hear an echo in your sleep. Alright. Sorry, I completely forgot about that. But yeah, the goal is to hit all the balls until they turn red. Now, on uh, some levels, um, it takes more steps to make them turn red than on others. And once they have changed to a red color, you're not supposed to hit them again, or you lose a life. Um, so at this rate, I'm probably going to lose this game in the next minute. Um, so that's not going to be a good record, but it'll be a record nonetheless. Uh, oh, that's not good. Here. Um, I have a sense that I'm going to fail this game now. Um, oh, slow mode. Ah! Wow, I'm still bad at this. Uh, okay, can I get the blue? You're blue. Nice. We passed level two. But yeah, this is not the correct direction. Um... We'd much prefer to be winning as opposed to dying over and over. And so one strategy is don't hit the red one, or don't make these turn red until you've hit all of them to blue first. Um, now, I mean, it assumes that you've got like the attention span to do that sort of thing and the patience for it. Ah! You know, I wonder. <coughs> Pardon me. I wonder if it's possible that um, the death condition was taken out of the game because I I've lost. I don't know. These have changed. Oh, I remember now. It's not a death condition. It's um, when you hit a red one, uh, your timer goes down. Yeah, there's the timer. Man. We're on level 3, and already I'm on the verge of failure. Spiffy. Okay. Come on. We can do this. Maybe. There we go. 
Wow. Okay, that was intense. Um, but yeah, when you hit some of these in rapid succession, the timer increases, or bonuses get scored, or whatever. Um, extra speed, nice. Oh, I've done something. I've done a thing. Ah, don't fail me now. Oh, okay. Slow mode. It's much appreciated. I don't know what that white screen was. Oh, crud. Crud, crud, crud. Crud! Crud! Ah! Ah! Well, we're gonna see the timer emerge on the screen any second now. If I keep failing like this. Yeah, this is not good. Oh my goodness. Okay. We can do this. We can... Ah, no, maybe. Ah. Well, you get the idea. Nice. No. Good. Bad. Awful. Terrible. Wonderful. You were close. Uh, you know, maybe this game is a little bit too high impact for a day like today. Maybe I need to pick something lower impact. Um, oh! Ah! Uh, be nice, you know, if the timer increased everything, I changed something to red. Uh, okay. Well, this is not looking promising. Uh, where's the blue? Come back here. Ah! No, no. Uh, okay. We made it. Level 4 complete. All according to plan. But you know, perhaps uh, the time condition doesn't carry from level to level anymore. If so, I guess that's a welcome improvement. Um, although it kind of takes away from the retro feel of the game where um, the time would normally, like on an arcade game, carry over from one level to the next. Uh, name that tune. Anybody got it? Ah! <laughs> do, do, do. Oh my goodness, this gives me nightmares for my piano recitals. Yeah, the trails are definitely distractions. And for somebody with my attention span, yep, that definitely constitutes a distraction. Okay. Bonus! That makes the same noise that, like, when you leave a car door open and it bings at you that, hey, dummy, you forgot to close the car door need to take care of that before we depart this car or put it in motion. Uh, okay. Ah! Oh, that looked cool. No. Maybe. I just need to avoid... No. Oh, going straight up there was not a strategy to avoid the red ball. Uh, you know, I say that I just need to avoid the red balls, and look at what I do. I aim directly for them, because I'm looking at them trying to avoid them. I should just try to ignore them and hope that I don't run into them, because this whole strategy of avoiding them only works, you know, if you actually avoid them. This is like if you're playing a chess game and just waiting for your opponent to blunder, and you're not being opportunistic enough and coming up with a plan. Um, that same sense that if you're not doing something, your opponent's doing more than you are. I want the blue thing. 
whatever that is. Slow mode. Yeah. Uh, name that piece. It's got to be something by Bach, no? Uh, I'm so horribly uneducated at music. I mean, imagine that coming from me. I guess I'm my own worst critic in that regard. Ah, nope, yes, maybe. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, this is not good. This is seriously not good. Uh, uh, GG. Yeah, let's go with the non. Try it again. Go. Do, 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 do. Hey, I beat level one and didn't do awful that time. Although there's like no confirmation between levels. Ah, maybe I didn't want to hit that one. Come back here. There we go. Nice. Two stages down. However many there are to go. Freeze time. Okay. I guess freeze time means that time is frozen. As opposed to the balls themselves being frozen. Ah! Yeah. Well, that was a death trap. You know what would be an interesting take as far as particle physics goes? Each time you hit them, if they went into a higher energy state and moved faster. Just saying. That would better resemble what goes on in particle physics. Although you could also have, like, masses of particles being changed each time a collision occurs. As well as, like, positive and negative charge and spin and all these wonderful attributes that go along with actual physics particles. Okay, we're not going into that death trap. Come back here, Blue. Ah, here. There we go. Also, if there are, like, gravitational waves or electromagnetic waves and, you know, relativity, general relativity, things moving uh, allegedly near the speed of light, and so time dilates as you actually start to approach things. Because um, you can't have two particles... I mean, if two particles collide, one... I don't know if it's possible for one to be going at the speed of light in one direction, and the other particle to be going the speed of light in the other direction. Um, and for them to collide at a single point going relative to each other at negative or going relative to each other at twice the speed of light. Um, that doesn't seem possible. Okay. So something tells me that general relativity um, would require some kind of time dilation as things are about to collide. I could be making that up. I forget what I learned in high school physics. Uh, here we go. This is how politics works. Yeah, this is exactly how politics works. See, we want to get all of them. They're currently voting for the Green Party. And then we want to get them to vote for the Yellow Party. And then after the Yellow Party comes the Red Party. And we want them all to celebrate in the goodness of the red. Uh, 
And then as you go on to more levels later on in time, um, there are more parties. So there's not just the yellow party, the blue party, the green party, and the red party. But I think there's... Oh, what other colors? Anybody remember? Um, I'm drawing a blank, honestly. Ah! No! Damn it. Uh, basically, we want them to all share in the greatness of the red party. With white as their fearless leader. Uh, come on. Let's go. Max Schnell. Come on. There we go. Uh, ah! No! Damn it. Oops. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is not looking good, guys. Ah! 9, 8, 7, 11, 15, 6. Oh, we're out of time. Anand. There we go. Didn't even make the high score table. Bummer. <sighs> Let's try it again. So far, Hyzog is in the lead on the high score table. And we just need, like, a thousand times a perfect score to beat Hyzog. So, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to make it onto the high score table anytime soon, to be honest. But that doesn't mean I have to give up on trying. Here, let's hit all the red ones, just to make things a little bit different. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. <sighs> Alright. I won't tell Zug whatever it is that you just said. Ah, no, maybe. Okay, there we go. Wait, come back here, come back here. So I can go with these cool angles, but not with the arrow keys. I can only do that after I've hit an object. There we go. Going at those cool angles is reserved for when you bounce off of something. And you know, maybe I should just let, let nature take its course with that sort of thing more frequently. Okay, so now I've got the thing that makes me invincible to hitting the red ball. So, that's really not useful at this stage so much. Although, we see that it does become useful pretty quickly. Um, uh, oh, it's run out. I was going to say, I didn't think it lasted so long, so... Two times whatever. Alright, we're making progress, guys. we got the two times thing. Ah! Okay, well, I couldn't avoid that. Maybe the best strategy is just to wait in the middle. Um, and not to back myself into corners. Uh, there we go. You know, I hadn't thought about that much until now. Uh, let's just... Hang out in the middle and try to hit things. Pay attention to everything that's coming from every direction all at once. Uh, it's probably the best policy. It's just pay attention to everything and always make the optimal decision with no time in which to make it. Uh. Ah! Damn it. Ah! Okay. That funky mode thing just tripped up my strategy. Oops. Okay, waiting in the middle only works if you're paying attention to everything all at once. You need to do a better job at paying attention to everything. Okay. Also, does anybody know what this piece is? Or is it an original composition? Ah! 
Almost had it. Almost had it. Level four complete. You know, in retrospect, this is perhaps not the lowest key game I could have picked. Perhaps I could have selected a turn-based game of some sort. Not that I'm claiming that chess is a low key game. It really isn't. Ah. Well, that's not working so well now, is it? Um. Not good. Not schnell. Go fast. Gotta go fast. You know, I think that many things could be done to make to reduce the difficulty curve of this game. I'm just saying. Okay. There we go. I survived that, temporarily. Oh, now we're dead. Oh, yes, no, maybe, wait. Avoid that. Okay, uh, over here. That's no good. And I see people are typing things, and I have no time in which to read said things. Uh, ah! No! Yes, maybe. That's no good. Do 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 do. You see how hitting many things in rapid succession um, increases the timer, and so that's why I tend to go for these collections of balls that are all located right next to each other. Although sometimes it pays not very well. And should get to level six. I've actually managed to beat this game before, but I don't remember how. Yeah, whatever the music was on the previous level, we're going to get there again. Why not? Here we go. Now I have to click to start it. You know, like all good retro arcade games, you have to use a mouse. I assume this is an original composition. Bump. There we go. Can I hit these? Can I hit this one? There we go. Also... I'm just trying to think, what would be a cool song for this kind of game? Uh, so, you remember some of the old Windows games, like uh, Treasure Mountain, would have... Um, they had some Bach tune. Uh, I think future learning company games... Well, I don't know. Like, there was Outnumbered, which also featured a Bach tune. Um, but, yeah, most of the Learning Company games had original compositions, if I remember right. Uh, come on, we can get this. There we go. The Star Wars theme. That would go with this, I suppose. You know, I think, as much as I like the Star Wars theme, 
one that I might fit better with this kind of game would be the Imperial March. You know the one. Ah! Might as well be Darth Vader's theme for how they used it. Ah, slow mode. Yes, no. You want slow mode on, I'm failing. That's awesome. Okay, it's gonna speed up any second now. Otherwise, I would have chased after these guys. Okay, let's get somewhere in the vicinity of... Ah, come on. That's not even fair. Not even... There we go. Um, but yeah, what would make sense other than that? I mean, most video game music, in general, would make sense with this kind of, um, arcade game. The other day I heard uh, the Mega Man 2 theme. It was really high energy. Um, probably way too much for an arcade game. You won't want a theme just blaring at you the whole time you're playing the game. You need something a little bit more low-key. Um, oh no! No! Okay, I dodged one of those. Also, yeah, maybe I should... Maybe I should be careful which way I hit these. Maybe I should always try to hit these toward the edge, as opposed to toward the center. Um, and this is Chopin's Minute Waltz. Everybody knows it. Yes, there we go. Ah, we can do this. We can... I've beaten this game before. Maybe I've played it on an easier difficulty or something. Although I thought I've beaten this legitimately. I just must have gotten exceptionally lucky or something. terrifying. Okay. Gosh darn it. Uh, well, that didn't work so well either. Yeah, that's... Well, okay, I was too close to the edge there. Maybe I need to hit these toward the edge, but only when I'm not immediately adjacent to an edge. Um, maybe that's a better policy. Come on. No! Oh my goodness. Or as the game puts it, Gadzooks. Oh, okay. Oh no. Come on. We can do this. Like, we... Okay, why am I saying we can do this? It's pretty clear that we can't. Uh... At least we can enjoy the music. Oh no, we don't get the reprise. How horrible. How horrible. All right, let's try that again. Here, let's just let the game run itself. Can I... Was I doing better than the game just playing itself? Let's find out. I'm thinking that I did better than the game just playing itself. But, you know, we have to get an accurate simulation to figure that out. Yeah, it's possible that just not being as distracted helped. Although I thought I even did it on stream. But, 
like I said, I, it's probable that I was playing with some different set of parameters, or I don't know. Yep. Well, it's comforting in some way to know that the game doesn't beat itself. Wow. It doesn't even ask you for a score. I wonder if that's by design. If so, that's good design. Huh. I did not anticipate that. Maybe it only does that if you manage to beat a level. Okay, let's try again. Sorry. Uh, we tried. Oh, how valiantly we tried. Oops. Well, okay. We tried so hard and got so far that in the end, it didn't really matter. We had to fall to. Oh, we beat a level. Never mind. It's going to show me the timer again. No. Okay, so maybe, maybe the timer is a little bit more generous than it used to be. Because I remember, like, I would see the timer at the end of one level, and then it would reappear at the beginning of the next or something. I could be imagining that, but... In any event, this policy, whatever it is, seems somewhat generous. And that if you've almost failed a level, you're not forced to... Um, panic at the beginning of the next level. So that's a good policy. It's good game design. Um, ah. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It'd be helpful if you were able to move ever so slightly... Oh. They are able to move ever so slightly faster than these. And at least you're able to move faster than the green one. Oh, come on! That's cheating, man! Oh my goodness. That green one was just lurking next to all the red ones. Just to spite me the whole time. That was totally unfair. Okay, freeze time. Which does absolutely nothing except lock the timer on a given number. So you don't have to worry about the timer. But you know, that's a, it's the same thing as if you just add time onto the timer. I'm just saying, there's no reason to call it freeze time when it's just, oh, we're just adding time to the timer. Uh, come on. Let's beat this game. Yeah, again, for those just joining us, this is called Locks Ball. Um, so apparently you're supposed to eat it, or eat a pretzel with lots of locks or something while playing this. Uh, either that, or you're just supposed to get salty while playing it. Which actually seems like a better theory. Oops. Ah, no. Yes, maybe. Ah! Oops. That's what I get for going toward the... I'm not paying attention because I'm attempting to speak while playing. Not a good policy. There we go. Alright, let's just go after the blue one, and after the yellow one, and there we go. Level whatever level we're on. Here we go. Ah, dot, dot, dot. Hmm. 
Has anybody heard of the Tetris effect? Apparently there's an effect um, where you can see moving Tetris pieces in your sleep. And that's called the Tetris effect. Also called the Tetris effect is the effect whereby you're forced to make a, a suboptimal decision because you don't have time to make an optimal decision. But you need to find just some kind of um, course of action that satisfies the immediate constraints um, because there's just not enough time to figure out the optimal uh, solution. Um, yeah, arcade games in general kind of have that whole thing going for them. And that there's no time to figure out the best course of action. You just need to pick some course of action that's reasonably good and go with it. Such could also be said, I think, in chess. Um, there's obviously too much of a space to be computed in chess, that there's... Nobody could possibly compute the whole game while they're playing it. Um, and if they could, then somebody's just going to come up with a chess variant where it's not possible to compute the whole thing. Oops. Oops. Alright. That was close. Level 5. Yeah, this piece. What is this piece? My theory was it's original. It's just kind of a carnival piece. In fact, maybe that's... Um, maybe I'm remembering correctly that the composer did share his thoughts. I think he said that this was, in fact, original. That he and maybe a friend made that piece? I don't remember. What do they call the suboptimal decisions prior to. due to time control before the late 80s? Oh, you know, that's the thing. Um, I don't know that psychology had advanced sufficiently far to come up with a term for such a thing until um, Tetris had been released. Uh, so I don't think that there was a formal designation for that sort of thing. I mean, even these days, um, they still publish the DSM, uh, whatever the full name of that is. The thing that helps um, identify the particular disorder or condition that a patient or person has. Um, even the publication of that book is pretty modern. Um, psychology as a field of study... I mean... Goodness. Um, you have other fields of wellness that... Um, were practicing some pretty barbaric techniques until pretty recently. I mean, pasteurization wasn't a thing until... I don't know, 18th, 19th something century. I'm really getting my history mixed up here. Uh, there was a time when they believed that applying leeches was a good thing. And so... Um, well, the military had a term for this. Okay. I was going to say, psychologists might not have a term, but in the military I could see them coming up with some kind of term to say... You know, guys, we have to make up our minds right now and act, because not acting or trying to figure out the best course of action just isn't an option. Um, I wonder what they would have called it. Um, uh, come on. We can do this. Slow mode. Woo! Nice. This reminds me of Bubble Bobble. I do hope it wasn't plagiarized in any way. Ah, come on! Ah. There we go. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I have to go to blue and then to yellow and then to red. Well, that makes... 
And yet somehow I still managed it. Oh, you'd think the military would have a term. Well, I'm not sure that they'd have to have a term, but they very well could have one. Um, I mean, even military strategy evolved about a lot during the 20th century. And there was only so many wars that they had to fight. So, there might not have been so many occasions where such a term would have been relevant. Um... Uh, I'm trying to remember. The Civil War should have had a term for such a thing, though. Whoa! Why am I going so fast? I must have gotten a power-up and not noticed. Ah, uh, crud. Oops. Uh. Well, that's no good. Bummer. Alright. Well, I guess this is going to be the last one. Um, so we got funky time. We did not, in fact, get the red blocker power-up, which is the most powerful one. I somehow failed to got, get that and instead got funky time. So it's looking like this is going to be the final attempt. Unless something crazy happens. Uh, ah. Okay. Nope, nope. Fail. All the fail. You can smell the fail a mile away. That's no good. All right. Yeah. You're probably right. All right, so let's take one last look at the scoreboard here. I was considering leading into another game. Um, maybe I'll save that for tomorrow. It's going to be a fun game whenever I do get to it. Um, but man... If this zonks me out, then perhaps playing one more game is not something I should attempt to do right now. Anyhow, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the Locks Ball. It's a good game. If you want to find it on the internet, search for Locks Ball, L-O-X-B-A-L-L. -L, or search for the world's worst arcade game, or whatever he calls it. Um... Let me go back to the search results and find this thing, because I was kind of amused. Locks Ball. Um, world's Worst Computer Game. So yeah, just go there, search either for Locks Ball or for the metadata that's in this page. If you're curious where that comes from, and I think at one point, um, well... I think at one point he was curious where this came from. I think you have to go to the page source and then search for worst. And I thought it was in the metadata here somewhere. And if not, no, in fact, he's taken the meta tag out of the HTML. But if you look back in the search history and uh, look at like the cached version of this page, um, somewhere here, You'll find that in the history of this, at one point, there was metadata in this web page that contained that text, and he never updated it. I don't know if he's going to update it any time, but, you know, if he puts in, like, world's best computer game into the metadata of that page, then, you know, maybe Google will get the hint that something's improved about this game. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.